Hello, konnichiwa. This is Kei, and I'm a professional trader in Tokyo, Japan. In this video, part 2 of price action video series, I will be talking about another four common patterns and how you can trade with those signals. So, if you like this video already, please press a good button and let's get started right now. All right, the first one I'm introducing is the spike low.、Uh, look at this chart. As it says here, it really works when this shows up during the downtrend. How you can identify this is that the low should be clearly all the way down from the previous low. I mean, the wick pointing downwards should be especially long, like this, in this chart example. And when you find this pin bar, You can call it spike low. And what this means is it's the indication of a trend reverse. So, like in this example, when there's a downtrend like this, after you see a spike low here, a trend might reverse to the upside.、Uh, more precisely,、uh, when there's a downtrend for a couple of days previously, you know, it's been lower low, higher low. But if you look at this pin bar pointing downwards, It's obvious that it's way below from this previous low and also this low. It's way below down here. And if you look at this candle, the body is very tiny, you know, it's just this much, but the wick is pointing down very long, right? So when you see a candlestick like this while it's on the downtrend, that means it shows there's a higher possibility that the trend reverses to the upside after this day. This is one of the very important candles to look for、uh, because when there's a trend reverse, you can see this spike low very often.、Uh, one of the examples would be when you look at this chart, this is the daily chart of pound yen. And if you look at these, and if you look at these, these are the wicks pointing downwards, and the trend reversed to the upside after this. And remember what I said earlier? The spike low should be appeared when the market is on a downtrend.、Uh, you, sh you should look for the spike low while the market is on a downtrend, not while it's on the uptrend. So, for example, this one right here is not the spike low, you see? If you remember the pin bar and look at this chart, and when you find this one right here, You might think it's a signal of the market k e e p going up and you might place buy here. I used to think like that too when I was a newbie. Like, as soon as I found a pin bar anywhere, I thought it's a trend reverse signal. But、um, let me tell you, this one is not reliable because it's appearing while it's on bullish momentum. So, the lesson is when you look for the spike low, always, you know, always look for it. While the market is on downtrend, not while it's on uptrend, right? So, when you look at these spike lows,、uh, you will get all these pips. It's going to be a lot of pips because this is in the daily chart.、Um, like this first one, it's like、uh, 350 pips to the top. So, if you place one lot, then you will get like 3500 of profit, right? So, after you watch this video, please open a chart and look for these candles with your own eyes. Then you get to realize a lot of things by yourself. So now I think you have an idea of what this spike low is like. Alright, l let's move on to the next one. It's a spike high.、Uh, you may already have an idea what's, what it's like, but this one is basically the other way around from the spike low. So this one also has the precondition. When you look for a spike high, always look for it while the market is on a bull trend. And the wick should be clearly pointing up higher than the previous highs. And it shows the strong signal for trend reverse to the downside. So, when you look at this chart example,、uh, there was an uptrend like this, you know, a lower high, higher high. But suddenly, there's a candlestick with a long wick pointing upwards、uh, appeared on the market. And after it marked the highest, The price came back all the way down to where it started and created a wick pointing upwards as a result. So, as you can see, the highest here,、uh, the tip of the wick on this candlestick, is the highest from 
all the previous candles. So if you find this candle while the market is on the bull trend, this is going to be an indication of the trend reverse to the downside. So if you have a buy position, you may take profit or close it with break even. Or if you want to sell after this, you can do so to get all these pips to the downside, right? Uh, let me share with you a real chart. Um, this is an example in Euro dollar in daily chart time frame. And last year in 2018, if you look at the market right here, uh, there was a wick pointing upwards with a tiny body, right? And this is the indication of a trend reverse. And in fact, the market dropped all the way down from here until it showed another spike low down here. So as you can see, the spike high especially works while the market is on a bullish momentum. Um, you know, I think you learn the best while looking at the live chart. So try to look for this spike high and spike low or other patterns like runway up or runway down from the part one uh, with your own eyes from the real chart. Or as you may know, I do the live streaming every Tuesday and Friday. So you can join and watch the market real time with me and look for these price actions. And if you don't understand fully on any of these, make sure you look back the video and try to understand 100% because every step you take along with my video will help you to become a professional trader because I only introduced the techniques I use and I became an independent trader like this. So I'm sure you can be like me if you master all these and apply to yourself. And if you have any questions or anything I've said earlier, uh, please feel free to ask me anytime through email or Facebook or whatever, right? Because I'm here to help you and I really want you to be an independent trader and that's why I keep uploading these videos. Alright, so let's move on to the next price action pattern. This is called inside and what this price action looks like is when you see today's candle is within the high and low of the previous candles, this pattern is called inside. So when you look at this example on the left, look at this candlestick. The high is here and the low is down here, right? And if you look at the one before, the high was at this level and the low was at this level. So you can see the current high and low are all within the previous high and low. And this is called inside or in Japanese, it's called Harami candle pattern. And what this shows is that uh, the market is going to be in a range after this. It shows that a uh, consolidation is going to happen. For example, if there was a bullish trend before, if you look at this inside, then you can expect the trend will stop and the market might be into a range. And how you can trade if you see this inside is when the price breaks out towards the direction of the major trend, then that shows the trend continues. So when there was a bullish trend prior to this inside, when it breaks this range upwards, most likely a bullish trend may continue. So after the breakout, for example, you can buy here at the pushback and follow the major trend and take profit. If you are still a newbie, uh, don't think complicated. Just think to follow the trend after the breakout and it's okay for now. But the point is, when you see this inside, then you better wait until the price breaks to either direction because as you see on this example, usually the market moves up and down with big volatility after this inside. So you may not be able to expect a big profit under this condition. You know, you will have a risk to get stop loss many, many times by, you know, these wicks pointing up and downward because the market gets very volatile. So considering the efficiency in time and money, I wouldn't trade in this kind of condition, but rather waiting for the breakout while looking at other pairs uh, might be a wise decision. And here is another version of inside. The previous one was the inside while the market is on bullish, but this one is while it's on bearish. So basically it's the same thing, but uh, you know, when there's an inside during the downtrend, it should be when the price of high and low today is within the previous high and low. So when you look at this pin bar or doji candle right here, when you look at the previous high and low, the candle is all inside, right? 
and let's say there's a continuous bear trend and you see this inside price action. Then you think to wait until the price breaks the lower support line downwards and you actually place sell here, right? After this, the price bounced up a little bit but eventually kept going down like this. So again, when you see the inside on the market, expect that there will be a range and the market may consolidate by itself and talk to yourself like I won't be trading unless it breaks it downwards, right? This is truly based on my trade experience and you will see lots and lots of market like this. So I'm sure you can also apply this on the market. Uh, moving on to the next one, it's called the outside. And what this price action means is that it's when today's candle is completely within the tomorrow's high and low. So in this chart example, it's here on this blue one. As you, as you can see, the high and low of this blue candle is completely within the high and low of the next day's candlestick. Inside was the other way around. Inside was when the previous candle covers today's candle, but outside is when next day candle covers today's candlestick. And when you see a pattern like this, most likely it shows the continuous trend towards the breakout of the next day candle. So for example, when there's a continuous bull trend and when you find this outside, then it indicates the bullish trend may persist. And note that on this outside price action, you can judge it today. I mean, when there's a daily chart. However, as for the inside, just by looking at this candlestick uh, right here on this day, you still don't know if it's going to be inside or not until you see the next candlestick, you see? But as for the outside, you can tell it from today, right? After today's candle covers previous day's high and low. For example, look at this chart. This is a one hour chart of uh, OZJP and while the market has been uptrend, if you look at a candle right here, you can see there is a clear outside bar, you see? Uh, this high and low are engulfing the previous high and low, right? And after this, the price kept going up. So if you buy here, you can get all these pips later on. So this is an example of how you identify the outside bar and apply it in a real chart. So again, open up a chart and look for where you can find these four price actions and make sure you check with your own eyes where they appear on the market so that you can apply it by yourself. All right, on the next video part three, I'll be talking about some of the traded strategies on pin bars and how you can identify them from multiple time frame charts so that you can increase your trade accuracy. So if you don't want to miss the next one, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get a notification when it's uploaded next Monday. And also, if you liked today's video and if you can press a good button, I will appreciate it very much. Alright, so I will see you on the next one. Stay gold. またね。